Hello everyone, welcome to 10 Minute Physiology. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a short explanation as to what total body water content is and how water is divided among the different components in our bodies. So with that, let's give it a go. So there are two main fluid compartments in our bodies. And in order to understand that, let's do this setup. So let's just say we have a beaker and inside the speaker we have water. And floating inside the water we have a cell. Now there are two main fluid compartments in this setup. The first is the extracellular fluid. So this would be all of the water outside the cell. The second is the intracellular fluid or the fluid contained inside the cell. So inside our bodies we have two main fluid compartments. The first is going to be the extracellular fluid or the fluid outside of a cell. And the extracellular fluid is going to consist of the blood plasma, the interstitial fluid, or the fluid around the cells, and transcellular fluid. The intracellular fluid is going to be the fluid inside of a cell. So an important concept to understand is something called the total body water content. So the total body water content is the total amount of water inside our bodies. And the total body water content can be calculated by adding the extracellular fluid content to the intracellular fluid content. So now that we know what the total body water content is, let's talk about how much water is in a male and a female. So inside the young male, around 60% of his body weight is going to be water. So the total body water content is going to be 60% of a young male's body weight. So if we were to have an 180 pound male, we would have 108 pounds of that being water. 60% of this would be water, so therefore 108 pounds of that male would be water. So for a female, things are a little different. In females, around 50% of her body weight will be water. And the reason for this has to do with adipose tissue. So women tend to have lower total body water contents than men, due to increased amounts of adipose tissue. Adipose tissue contains less water than muscle does. So if you were to have an 140 pound woman, 50% of this would be water, so therefore 70 pounds of this woman would be water weight. And the last person is the baby. So babies tend to have a lot of water weight, so around 75% of their bodies are water. So therefore, if you were to have a 10 pound baby, 75% of this weight would be water, which would give us 7.5 pounds of water. So what we see from this is that the majority of our body weight is going to be consistent of water. Now these percentages are not the same for everybody. It depends upon the person's age, their adipose content, their muscle mass, etc. So this is just averages for different groups of people. So now that we know how much of our bodies is made up of water, let's talk about how this water is divided amongst the intracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. So for a person, the total body water content is going to be divided between the intracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. So for the intracellular fluid, the total body water content, around 60% of the total body water content, is going to be found in the intracellular fluid. So the majority of our water is inside our cells. And the rest of the water is found in the extracellular fluid. So 60% of the total body water content is inside the cells, and 40% of it is going to be found outside the cells. So this is gonna be inside your blood plasma, your interstitial fluid, as well as your transcellular fluid. So now I have a question for you. So the prototypical male is around 70 kilograms. So what I want you to do is to pause the video and calculate what the total body water is in kilograms, the intracellular water content in kilograms, and the extracellular water content in kilograms. So why don't you pause the video and calculate it for yourself and then check back and see what the answer is. So I hope you paused the video and calculated the answer, so we're going to go through it now. So for the prototypical male, which is 70 kilograms, around 60% of that weight is going to be water weight. So therefore, the total body water content is 42 kilograms. Now that 42 kilograms is going to be divided up between intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid. So for the intracellular fluid, 
around 60% of the total body water is going to be intracellular. Therefore, if we were to multiply 42 kilograms, which is the total body water, by 0.6, we would get 25 kilograms. So this would be the amount of water in the intracellular fluid. And the remaining water is going to be found in the extracellular fluid. So it would be 17 kilograms. So what we see here is that the total body water is going to make up around 60% of the man's weight. And of that total body water, 60% is going to be found inside the cells and 40% is going to be found outside the cells. So let's take a look at the extracellular fluid in more detail. Remember, it's made up of three parts. So the first part is going to be the blood plasma. So the blood plasma is going to make up around 20% of the extracellular fluid. The next is going to be the interstitial fluid. This is the fluid outside of cells that surrounds cells. So 75% of the extracellular fluid is in the interstitial fluid. So remember the interstitial fluid is the fluid that surrounds and bathes cells. And the remaining is going to be in something called transcellular fluid. So a quick question for you. So we know that the total body water content for a prototypical male is 42 kilograms, and that the ECF water content is 17 kilograms. So what I want you to do is to pause the video and calculate what the plasma content is in kilograms, the ISF content in kilograms, and the transcellular fluid content in kilograms. So I hope you pause the video. And what we should now do is calculate each of these three things. So the first thing that we should calculate is the blood plasma. So blood plasma makes up around 20% of the ECF. So you multiply 17 by 0.2, and this would give you 3 kilograms of blood plasma. The next was the interstitial fluid, which makes up the majority of the ECF, specifically 75% of it. And when you do the calculation, you get 13 kilograms. And then the last was the transcellular fluid, which is 1 kilogram. So I hope this video helped you understand what total body water content is and how it's divided in our bodies, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.